Do you know how to use your meter and check a fuse and see if a fuse is bad or good? Do you know how to replace a fuse? What tools you need to make sure that you're as safe as possible? Especially if you have a, so a load center or a service panel that is hot. That means there's high voltage going to the panel and you can't kill that high voltage or turn that high voltage off so that it's not actually live while you're replacing the fuse. Today on Tips for Technicians, I am Tad, and we're gonna learn all about replacing these fuses, what tools I use, and how to use a meter to check the fuse, how to know if it's good or bad. Let's get started by using our meter. Thanks for watching, by the way. If you want more videos, check out my playlist, HVAC Tips for Technicians. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification button. If you wanna support me more and you want my channel to grow, click the join button. Let's go ahead and use our meter and check this fuse. We're gonna start with the 200 amp fuses here, then move to the 100 amp and then the 60 amp. And I'm gonna place my meter right here so that there's no shadow. And you can see it's OL right now. We're gonna take our leads and we're gonna place a lead on each side here. Make sure it's in place and we got 0.2. That's a good reading. That means this fuse is good. Usually if you read OL, the fuse is bad. That means it's broken. All right, point three. So this fuse is good. All right, moving on, we have this 100 amp fuse here. Oh, OL. Okay, so this fuse is bad. Now we got this 60 amp fuse. And we've got OL on it as well. So these two fuses are good, these two fuses are bad. That's how you use your meter to check a fuse, okay? Very simple. And if you put your leads together, you're gonna get a similar reading as it. you should, because you should read resistance through this. That's what you're doing, you're reading resistance. If it's broken somewhere in the middle, it's burnt, like this has a little black mark, then you know it's bad because you don't have any resistance. So we're using the bus fuse puller here, made out of a fiber, it's non-conductive, and I've got some gloves. This bus fuse puller fits around the fuse nicely, and I just pull it out, and then I put the new one in. Had to have some lights in here because this, of course, is the main, and it feeds the power to the building. So when I cut the disconnect off, before I pull the fuse with the bus fuse puller, I've gotta make sure I have a flashlight so I can see. Use the right tools. Work smarter, not harder, and make sure you're safe. Because you don't wanna be sorry. And if you're not safe, you're sorry. Love you guys, stay healthy, stay happy. This is Tad reminding you, I'll keep you cool if you let me. If you do not want to replace the fuses while the box is hot, and you have the same situation that I have, you can call the electric company, and you can schedule for the meter to be pulled, and that might be a little bit safer and be easier for you. So that is an option, I want you to know that. I have put another 11 pounds in this. That's over 20 pounds of refrigerant this seven and a half ton unit holds. Check in my liquid line temperature, measuring superheat and subcooling. If you don't know how, check out my playlist. I've got a video, but our pressures are looking a lot better. 100 and 250. So yeah, this is awesome. So excited when a plan comes together and it works. We are going to change out some fuses with a, a bus fuse puller. It's safe as long as you know what you're doing. Make sure you turn the breaker off. All right. Then make sure you grab the fuse. Probably can't see anything, can you? That's one. You got a flashlight? Of course, Yeah, it's a, plugged in my office. Um... Grab it real quick because I can't see nothing. <laughs> Should have thought about this before. It's right. not going to be a very big one. Is it not? Hey, that's, you know, honestly, you know what? Actually, I have one in my pocket. That'll work. Oh, no, you can come on. All right, turn this around. All right, that's one fuse out, one fuse in. Here we go. Okay, one fuse down. This is a 100 amp fuse that shouldn't even be in here. Oh, really? Yeah, it's only 100 amp. Here we go. All right, that was a 100 amp fuse that should have never been in there. Let me grab these other two fuses. 
So you're putting 240 back in? I am putting 200 amp fuses in here, which should have been in here okay. in the first place, yes. For some reason, somebody put a 100 amp fuse in there, which is a no-no. Whoa. Next. Alright. Alright, one more fuse. Which is the one in the middle. That's why they put the 100 amp in, but I can't do that because that's very unsafe. All right. Oh, that is not wanting to go in. What can I do here? Get this in. Oh, that's one side in. Good job. We're in good shape. We got all the fuses in. I didn't get electrocuted. Thank goodness. All right. Shut the box. Turn it on. Good to go. Now we can turn the AC on. We should have enough power to start it.